Paper 6. The Eternal Son. The Eternal Son is the perfect and final expression of the first personal and absolute concept of the Universal Father. Accordingly, whenever and however the Father personally and absolutely expresses Himself, He does so through His Eternal Son, whoever has been, now is, and ever will be the living and divine Word. And this Eternal Son is residential at the center of all things in association with and immediately enshrouding the personal presence of the Eternal and Universal Father. We speak of God's first thought and allude to an impossible time origin of the Eternal Son for the purpose of gaining access to the thought channels of the human intellect. Such distortions of language represent our best efforts at contact compromise with the time-bound minds of mortal creatures. In the sequential sense, the Universal Father never could have had a first thought, nor could the Eternal Son ever have had a beginning. But I was instructed to portray the realities of eternity to the time-limited minds of mortals by such symbols of thought, and to designate the relationships of eternity by such time-concepts of sequentiality. The Eternal Son is the spiritual personalization of the Paradise Father's universal and infinite concept of divine reality, unqualified spirit, and absolute personality and thereby does the Son constitute the divine revelation of the Creator identity of the Universal Father. The perfect personality of the Son discloses that the Father is actually the eternal and universal source of all the meanings and values of the spiritual, the volitional, the purposeful, and the personal. In an effort to enable the finite mind of time to form some sequential concept of the relationships of the eternal and infinite beings of the Paradise Trinity, we utilize such license of conception as to refer to the Father's first personal, universal, and infinite concept. It is impossible for me to convey to the human mind any adequate idea of the eternal relations of the deities. Therefore do I employ such terms as will afford the finite mind something of an idea of the relationship of these eternal beings in the subsequent eras of time. We believe the Son sprang from the Father. We are taught that both are unqualifiedly eternal. It is apparent, therefore, that no time creature can ever fully comprehend this mystery of a Son who is derived from the Father, and yet who is coordinately eternal with the Father himself. One. Identity of the Eternal Son The Eternal Son is the original and only begotten Son of God. He is God the Son, the second person of deity, and the associate creator of all things. As the Father is the first great source and center, so the Eternal Son is the second great source and center. The Eternal Son is the spiritual center and the divine administrator of the spiritual government of the universe of universes. The Universal Father is first a creator, and then a controller. The Eternal Son is first a co-creator, and then a spiritual administrator. God is spirit, and the Son is a personal revelation of that spirit. The first source and center is the volitional absolute. The second source and center is the personality absolute. The Universal Father never personally functions as a creator, except in conjunction with the Son, or with the coordinate action of the Son. Had the New Testament referred to the Eternal Son, he would have uttered the truth when he wrote, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. When a son of the Eternal Son appeared on Urantia, those who fraternized with this divine being in human form alluded to him as he who was from the beginning, whom we have heard, whom we have seen with our eyes, whom we have looked upon, and our hands have handled, even the word of life. And this bestowal son came forth from the Father just as truly as did the original son, as is suggested in one of his earthly prayers. And now, O my Father, glorify me with your own self, with the glory which I had with you before this world was. The Eternal Son is known by different names in various universes. 
In the central universe, he is known as the coordinate source, the co-creator, and the associate absolute. On Uversa, the headquarters of the super-universe, we designate the Sun as the coordinate spirit center and as the eternal spirit administrator. On Salvington, the headquarters of your local universe, this Sun is of record as the second eternal source and center. The Melchizedek speak of him as the Son of Suns. On your world, but not in your system of inhabited spheres, this original Sun has been confused with a coordinate creator Sun, Michael of Nebadon, who bestowed himself upon the mortal races of Urantia. Although any of the Paradise Sons may fittingly be called Sons of God, we are in the habit of reserving the designation the Eternal Son for this original Son, the second source and center, co-creator with the Universal Father of the central universe of power and perfection, and co-creator of all other divine Sons who sprang from the infinite deities. 2. Nature of the Eternal Son The Eternal Son is just as changeless and infinitely dependable as the Universal Father. He is also just as spiritual as the Father, just as truly an unlimited spirit. To you of lowly origin, the Son would appear to be more personal, since he is one step nearer you in approachability than is the Universal Father. The Eternal Son is the Eternal Word of God. He is wholly like the Father. In fact, the Eternal Son is God the Father personally manifest to the universe of universes. And thus it was, and is, and forever will be true of the Eternal Son, and of all the coordinate Creator Sons. He who has seen the Son has seen the Father. In nature the Son is wholly like the Spirit Father. When we worship the Universal Father, Actually, we at the same time worship God the Son and God the Spirit. God the Son is just as divinely real and eternal in nature as God the Father. The Son not only possesses all of the Father's infinite and transcendent righteousness, but the Son is also reflective of all the Father's holiness of character. The Son shares the Father's perfection and jointly shares the responsibility of aiding all creatures of imperfection in their spiritual efforts to attain divine perfection. The Eternal Son possesses all the Father's character of divinity and attributes of spirituality. The Son is the fullness of God's absoluteness in personality and spirit, and these qualities the Son reveals in His personal management of the spiritual government of the universe of universes. God is indeed a universal spirit. God is spirit, and this spirit nature of the Father is focalized and personalized in the deity of the Eternal Son. In the Son, all spiritual characteristics are apparently greatly enhanced by differentiation from the universality of the first source and center. And as the Father shares his spirit nature with the Son, so do they together just as fully and unreservedly share the divine spirit with the conjoint actor, the infinite spirit. In the love of truth and in the creation of beauty, the Father and the Son are equal, except that the Son appears to devote himself more to the realization of the exclusively spiritual beauty of universal values. In divine goodness I discern no difference between the Father and the Son. The Father loves his universe children as a father. The eternal Son looks upon all creatures both as father and as brother. 3. Ministry of the Father's Love The Son shares the justice and righteousness of the Trinity, but overshadows these divinity traits by the infinite personalization of the Father's love and mercy. The Son is the revelation of divine love to the universes. As God is love, so the Son is mercy. The Son cannot love more than the Father, but He can show mercy to creatures in one additional way, for he not only is a primal creator like the Father, but he is also the eternal Son of that same Father, thereby sharing in the sonship experience of all other sons of the Universal Father. The Eternal Son is the great mercy minister to all creation. Mercy is the essence of the Son's spiritual character. The mandates of the Eternal Son as they go forth over the spirit circle